This article discusses quite a lot about the relationship between 5G and edge computing, and in particular the ways that edge computing can help to support and accelerate the potential um, that has been promised by 5G deployments. It's also true though that in the ca case of many telecoms operators, uh, 5G and Edge are closely linked and they will be thinking about Edge computing in the general remit of their 5G rollout strategy. This doesn't have to be the case, you can deliver Edge computing over 4G or other cellular connectivity or even over fixed networks and Wi-Fi as well, but many operators will be thinking about the two together. Part of the reason for that is because in order for edge computing to deliver on its latency promises, it will require the network traffic to be able to locally break out so that the network traffic isn't traveling all the way back to the backbone and into the internet before it then goes to the more proximate edge location. There has to be some sort of local breakout. And um, the way that that works with a 5G network is relatively straightforward because within a 5G network architecture, most operators are looking to both virtualize or put into software their UPF, but also to distribute that uh, across a, a larger number of sites than they do today. And that is, it is the distribution of that UPF which can enable network traffic to be locally broken out to uh, edge computing locations rather than traveling back to centralized uh, core locations. And that is one of the reasons why 5G and edge are often closely tied together and, and why operators 5G strategy can be really important in supporting their edge computing goals as well.